So it's very important to have eye protection when using lasers so that you don't harm your eyes. <clears throat> this is very dangerous and I assume no responsibility for anybody's stupidness not to get a pair of glasses. Now these were like $39, but these were only $1.67 and they're, they're effective for blue and green laser. So all you have to do to test it is simply just get a, a regular easy laser like one five milliwatts and then if it blocks the light it's good okay. if it blocks the light it's good just test it with a little low power job and then you're good to go today I'm going to show you how to build a laser current source to drive a laser diode without damaging it now the values for this circuit that we're working on today are basically 4.7 ohms and 47k and the laser diode goes here this is a tip TIP 125 this is a 2N3906 so this is a schematic for the thing we're going to build today the current source for the green laser diode so you could buy laser diode drivers on eBay from China but they are not laser drivers they are just voltage regulators they will destroy your laser diode why pay twelve dollars fifteen dollars nine dollars whatever they are when you can build this for sixty five cents so i have like a one point six watt blue one here i'm going to show you that one but this is the one we're building the fifty milliwatt green today we're going to build a a green laser diode driver now these will work for any color you just got to set it up for the current that you're using we're using a 50 milliwatt green laser and it runs on a current of about 130 mils. So basically we need to put 4.3 ohm resistor in the circuit for the schematic diagram and I'll show that to you a little bit. So the total amount of parts for this is about 65 cents counting the little power transistor. Now you can get this on eBay for about 20 bucks, the diode, and then this part here is probably about $10 or less, maybe, the heat sink material. This is just some scrap double-sided foil board that I use. So we're going to assemble that together. First we solder the power transistor. Next we solder in the little connectors. Next we solder in the little 3906 transistor. I got one lead soldered. Let's solder in the next one. You want to get it too hot. Cool it between each soldering. There we go. So we got the parts in. Now we're going to connect them up. This is the negative input power jack right here. Put the negative of the capacitor to that little pin. Bend this wire over, flip it, okay, this is the laser diode output jack, negative being on this side right here, negative, bend the 47k ohm resistor, Solder it. This guy bends over to here. You could actually 
she painted over to here. Solder that. over to here. Sorry that. This is our input power of positive. Just put this over to here. This here is the bay you see emitter mm -hmm. that goes over to here two lines solder together Had to make sure I was hooking it up correct. This is the soft start capacitor. It goes over to here. And the other end goes over to here. solder red wire to there and a black wire to there corresponding to the jack that's so okay solder the negative wire here solder the positive wire over to here Do we need to bring another positive wire to the laser diode? Between the piece of wire. It's gonna come from here over to there. Probably gotta cut it. Strip it first. Solder it like so, tin it. Solder down to here. Let's see if we can fit it under there. Yeah. Solder up a test load resistor in place of the laser diode. Like so. And that plugs into here. This is our power input. Probably use three lithium phosphate cells, maybe four. Uh, this diode does seven and a half volts, so I think I'm at the three will probably work. So it's about drawing about 119, 115 mils. That's basically perfect. So I had like a little wiring error. I had the positive wire here going over to there. It has to go to the collector of the transistor. And I changed this resistor out right here. I made it a 4.7 from a 4.3. It could probably be a 4.3, but because of that it caused confusion and I lowered it down. So we're within the range of the laser. It'll just be putting out maybe a little less than 50 milliwatts of power. 
And there you have an incredibly little bright 50 milliwatt green laser. Now this doesn't have the power to, to light a match, but if you, it would make an excellent targeting device. This is pure 520 nanometer. There's no infrared in it, so it's much safer than uh, units that are like come with targeting units. Laser designators from eBay.